I'm interested to see what happens on Sunday night because I feel like it's a big swing. I don't know if it's a swing game for the 49ers, but that could be a big win. You got your home opener. You got Aaron Rodgers and the Packers coming to town. You get that win to go to 3-0 and before you play Seattle at home the following week. And then you – it's never the same anymore because we have 17 weeks, but you used to have four quarters of football, right? That's how you used to be able to break it down with 16 games. Your first four, second four, third four, four four, right? Can't do that anymore, right? You got this extra game in there somewhere. That's I don't know. You still do your fours, but you got one extra. But I would think if you were able to do that, and go worst case, you can secure worst case three and one in your first four games of the season, which included starting your first two on the road and then the Packers and the Seahawks. Yeah. Got to be feeling good about yourself. Got to be feeling great. So it's a big game for them. The Packers, I mean, you just heard what Dan had to say. They beat the Lions, but they got a lot of issues injury wise. If they can come out of this and come out to San Francisco, which when teams, have been healthy and have been real. We know what happened last Thursday. That wasn't even a real 49er squad. When the teams have been real, it's been a bit of a house of horrors for the Green Bay Packers in recent years coming to San Francisco, Santa Clara, whatever the case may be. If you can come here on a Sunday night mm-hmm. and win to go to 2-1, and one, you got to be feeling like you're right back in the picture again to be a Super Bowl contender. So it's a big game for both teams, man. It's a, it's a big game. 